Hi, my friend. Today, we're going to learn all about outer space. Are you ready to learn about outer space with me and make some art? Me too. I'm so excited. All right, do you know some words that relate to outer space? What do you think of when you think of outer space? Hmm. Wow, those are some great ideas. Yeah, there's astronaut, galaxy, sun, planets, asteroids, and the moon. The moon. I know. Let's pretend to be an astronaut on the moon together. Here we go. We gotta go super slow because there's less gravity. So everything takes a long time to move. Ready? Big steps. Did you pretend to be an astronaut too? Good job. All right, let's do our warm up. Are you ready to warm up? If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Up high, touch the sky, wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes, wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side, now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in, ready to Let's begin. Let's count the planets. Grab our pointing finger and we're going to point at each planet as we count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, eight, eight planets. Let's look at a diagram of our solar system. There's the sun and Mercury, then Venus, then Earth. And Earth is the third planet away from the sun. Then after Earth, we have Mars, and Jupiter, and far, far away from the sun, we have Saturn, and now it's getting a lot colder because we're so far away. Then Uranus, and finally Neptune, and Neptune's really far away. I imagine it's pretty cold on Neptune because it's so far away from the sun. Sometimes when we're closer to something, if it's warm, we can feel the warmth right? Like our, a warm hot chocolate. If we're close to our hot chocolate, we can feel how warm it is. But if we're standing far away, I don't know if it's hot or cold. I'm a lot colder because I'm not drinking it. I'm not touching it. So Neptune and planets like Saturn must be much colder than planets that are closer to the sun. All right, let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to write the word sun and draw a sun. And we're also going to make artwork of the moon. So fun. All right, see you there. All right, let's draw our sun. First, let's write the word sun. S, S, sun. Let's start with our letter S. S, sun. U and n n sun n s u n spells sun and sun begins with the letter s. 
let's draw our sun with a nice big circle. Let's add a triangle on the top and the bottom and side to side. And then we'll draw smaller, smaller triangles in between. Smaller circles or triangles in between. Let's draw a line in the center and connect with a curving line. From one side down to the bottom, we'll add a curving line and color in the dark with black, leaving the tongue white. Draw a circle on either side and color it in, leaving a little bit of white. then you can go ahead and color in your sun using your favorite colors and our medium. Just like that, your sun is done. Let's make our moon artwork for space. Let's take our black and we're going to draw a big circle. In the center, let's draw a cir not a circle, but a letter U for the mouth. Nice little smiley. On each side, draw a circle. In each eye, draw a circle. Let's color in the dark of the eyes. Small circles, white. Now let's add spots. Lots of spots of all different sizes. So cute. 
Now let's take our yellow and let's add dots around the background. Dots around the background. Let's get our watercolor paints. Let's swirl, swirl, swirl in the black. And then I'm going to move it around the background. Right over the yellow. And I'm gonna take a moon color, whatever moon color that you want. We're just gonna be blue or cream color. I'm using a little bit of a gold. I'm just gonna go around the edge only to give it a little bit of color and shadow. And just like that, moon for space is done. So cute. Good job, you did great. Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com. Or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below in the description of the video. See you next time.